Hello everyone. I'm Pam Hardcastle, President of the Board of Directors for the Meridian Public Library. On behalf of the Meridian Public Library, I want to thank you all for attending this awesome ceremony for John Lomax National Literary Award. What a great honor and privilege to be part of the recognition of Mr. Lomax's enormous contribution to American folk music. I am Ryan Nunhouse, Mayor of Meridian. I just want to welcome uh, the Lomax family, um, the State Library and Archives Commission, the Meridian Public Library staff and Board of Directors, Meridian Park and Recreation members, and all of our citizens and friends that are here today. Thank you for having me today, and I'm honored to be here on behalf of Congressman Roger Williams, who proudly represents Texas 25th Congressional Districts. It is with the great privilege that I'm here today to present you all with this American flag that has been flown over the United States Capitol as a congratulations to the newly dedicated John A. Lomax Literary Landmark. So I can't speak for all the judges, although I was honored to be one of them, to read the nomination for John A. Lomax. But it's so clear to me and evident that that was his code too. He made his life's work to restore, share, capture, and make sure that music was heard and experienced. I love what you said about the Library of Congress because I was blown away and I'm blown away every time I hear that he helped the Library of Congress with 10,000 recordings for their collection. On behalf of John's grandchildren, great-grands, and great-greats, I thank everyone here concerned for their hard work and loving attention in putting this celebration together of my grandfather, John A. Lomax. It's an honor to be here with you, and um, I hope you've enjoyed this program, and I hope you will enjoy this beautiful amphitheater and enjoy reading again. It's so important. One of the very great pleasures of being able to serve as a state librarian of Texas is being able to celebrate the wonderful work of Texans and the libraries uh, that populate our state and the wonderful people who celebrate literature and reading every single day. Uh, so much has been said this afternoon uh, to commend and celebrate the work of John A. Lomax and certainly uh, talk about a giant in the field of preservation of storytelling, of recording. One of the extraordinary achievements of John A. Lomax was to capture the voices that are often not heard. You heard earlier about his capturing stories of African Americans, of those imprisoned, of stories that were quickly on their way out. And what a loss, not only to the state, to the nation, but to the world, not to have those powerful and meaningful stories captured forever. It's really fitting that we're out here in this beautiful amphitheater, out in the fresh air, in the breezes, that if we close our eyes, we can imagine John A. Lomax listening to the distant sounds of cowboys singing on the Chisholm Trail. That's power, that's place, that's literature, that's poetry, that's everything that this literary landmark celebration should be. And it is this renaissance that we are bringing to Texas. Thank you all and celebrate you all and commit to you all that we at the State Library will continue to promote this site, your work, John Lomax, and the kick-A library staff that you have here. Thank you very much.